something like 2.9 square kilometers for uh, the metro town area. That includes Central Park, which they use in the density calculation. So it kind of uh, skews the numbers downward as far as the amount of density here. So we, uh, we say that you know, it's, it's pretty dense already. Uh, and the, the three-story uh, limit, or you, you, know, you go up to four stories, they still have the opportunity to buy, uh, buy density uh, with a three-story uh, walk-up and uh, build something a little higher. But uh, what's happened is that the, uh, with the supplementary density bonus legislation, which the city came up with in 2010, it's kind of accelerated the uh, destruction of the uh, uh, older places because it's more lucrative to build a tower. And that, that'll mean that instead of uh, three-story three, uh, buildings, they'll put 12-story and higher buildings in the same, uh, same area. If they didn't do the supplementary density, that would slow things down. Uh, it's just, it's more lucrative now. And if they uh, pass this uh, downtown plan, it'll be even more lucrative. If they don't have to do a public hearing process, they'll shave off years off their uh, rezoning application. So the developer, uh, you know, won't have those uh, holding costs of having a, a land waiting for a rezoning to happen. We're not opposed to new, new development, uh, with the pro but there is no uh, afford, there, there's a loss of affordable housing, so it's uh, a lot of the uh, businesses in the neighborhood are uh, retail and, and service industry, which are low-paying jobs. So those uh, people that uh, service uh, the community at the you know the grocery stores and the pharmacies, uh, Tim Hortons, you know they're, they're going to have to come come in from somewhere else.